Hey YouTube, it's me Fred again. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video about um, software, and the software today is going to be uh, Synergy. It's a free open source software designed for um, sharing a single mouse and keyboard amongst three or four machines, maybe two, maybe five. Um, I believe you can go all the way up to like 50 or 60 machines, but anybody that's got that many computers is uh, freaking crazy and probably will need more than one or two mice for um, a couple of machines. But it's nice for me when I've got just two or three machines running, and uh, you know I don't have to go out and get a keyboard and a mouse and go go dig them up crap like that. When you can just use Synergy back and forth, um, it takes a little bit of finagling with, but uh, once you get it working quite nicely, you can be very uh, it can be very useful, and it gives the uh, gives the illusion of having dual monitors for one machine, although it's actually over two. Um, I decided to take a video of both uh, monitors, the laptop and the server. Um, with the camera instead of trying to screencast both of them because I believe that probably would be a lot more venture than it was really worth. As you can see, you can use uh, you can use Synergy to copy information, move and uh, change things as well as use the keyboard on both machines. Um, it's very it's very useful a lot of times, especially when uh, when I can't find my keyboards. You can also set it up so that way you could have, uh, say, multiple servers serving out different information to other people. But, uh, you know, you've only got one, several monitors and one keyboard and mouse. It's a space saver, really. Great little program. I'm also going to show you where to get and how to install and set up Synergy. First things first is that you'll want to go to the Synergy website, which I will link down below, and uh, download your, you know, whoever you're working with, Linux, Macintosh, uh, or if you have to compile your source for another Linux distro, or uh, Windows. Um, since I'm on Windows 64-bit, I'll grab that. Um, you'll also want to do it on your server machine as well, to, um, on the other machine, whatever the other machines you're going to have. So it's energy for each machine. Um, upon downloading, you'll want to uh, set it up, run through the setup. Since I've already set it up, I'm going to uh, not set it up again because that would just be darn right silly. Um, so, after you've set the system up, you can uh, fire up Synergy on both machines. Um, on the machine that you're that actually has the keyboard and mouse, you want to select Share this computer's keyboard and mouse or the server, and on all the other machines you want to check this and type in that server machine's name which on uh, this one mine is Lunamaria but uh, since that's its own machine it would kind of just loop back so I put that on the server and then on uh, on my laptop I do this and then you want to configure it um, add the and as, as many screens as you have you know you hit plus and say uh, say I grabbed another machine and clapped it on the network and uh, you know you can turn off or on scroll lock, non lock, or caps lock. Checking them will turn them off. Um, and change the modifiers to do something else. Like you can change shift, so that way it'll do control, all, all that good stuff. Um, dead corners is for if you come down to the bottom left hand corner or down here and you don't want to switch over to the other machine. You can actually make that a dead corner, so that way when you go into the corner, it just stops for however big you want it to be. Um, I don't actually use those except maybe when I'm working in the bottom left. If uh, if I'm being lazy, I guess. Um, after you've added both any machines that you have, you'll want to add links between them, which is uh, basically tell Synergy where it is on who and what. Um, you'll want to hit new link. Zero to one hundred percent is the whole length of the screen, and you'll want to say. Let's say the top of uh, one machine goes to the other machine. So that will actually link the top of this to the bottom of the other one, which would actually kind of link the top of my server to the bottom of uh, here, which wouldn't really work unless the monitor was below it. But uh, you can also get pretty geeky with it. 52% um, to 100% actually made it quite about to, uh, I'd say right about here on the server would come out on the other on the laptop since it's different size and screens 
but uh, it's, it's getting really geeky about it. Make sure that you add both um, both sides, otherwise you won't be able to get back to your other machine. Um, after you've added, uh, set up the whole link with uh, who and what goes where and how many Oreos it is, you click the plus button and it'll add the next one. Um, like I said, you could even set it up so it just loops around in a circle for if you wanted to. Um, and minus will get rid of them. After everything's nice and set up, you hit OK. And then you want to hit Start on the server. And on the other machine, you'll want to fire it up as well. Um, they're pretty good about staying connected when, uh, when one isn't connected and then you fire up one of the other ones, they're pretty good at connecting to each other. Um, I assume it's some sort of behind the doors UDP thing or whatever. But uh, upon firing it up, then you'll be able to happily use Synergy. It'll add a nice little Synergy icon with a lightning bolt saying that it is connected, or a lack thereof of the lightning bolt when there is no connection. Um, I hope this has been helpful. If anyone's got any questions or suggestions on other things, let me know. Rate, subscribe, all that good stuff down in the bottom of the bar, and uh, have a good weekend, guys.